original Bradbury elephant. It's $400. It's a rare antique. There's a toy bank. <laughs> it's a collector's item. It's well worth the money. I've just got to have a, it. A, it's a toy bank, I've got Simon. to have it. The $400 one, right? for a trunk toy bank? Look, look, put a coin in his trunk. You watch this. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> now it only costs me uh, $399.75. <laughs> his pockets and uh, then we'll get the coin back. He had the coin on him when he was hit. But not at the hospital. It wasn't with his belongings. How could you give him the coin without examining the money? It looked real. You know, we've dealt with the KGB before. They've never tried to double-cross us. Who'd expect them to risk a source by paying with counterfeit money? Well, Mr. Kite must have decided to double-cross both sides and go into business for himself. Keep their quarter of a million dollars and sell my coin off for more. Oh, low life. Got what he deserved. Wait a minute. man's got the coin and doesn't know it. Find out who he is. I want that coin back, no matter what the cost. Tilly, I think we have... It's too late. I put it away already. Put what away? The ironing board. You know, if you could remember to hang your clothes up instead of throwing them every which way over a chair. <laughs> no, Tilly, these are supposed to look like this. It's linen. All wrinkled like that? Yeah, it's fashion. Well, it may be in this week, but it will never be fashion. But, of course, if you don't mind being embarrassed, where's Simon? <clears throat> Tilly, have you seen my hat? Poetry in motion. You see, elegance never goes out of fashion. Never. Thank you, Simon. Now, go change your clothes so we can go. I am changed. We can go. You're going to invited me, and uh, here I am. I think I'll just get the car. <laughs> Simon, are you sure that my name was on that invite? You know, I, I ain't too used to operating in these circles. Oh, Tilly, it's a charity affair. We're all invited. Oh, I'm so nervous. Why are you nervous? Why? Because in the 25 years since I bought this ensemble, this is the first proper place I've had to wear it to. Going to Lady Whitehurst is as close as this Cinderella's ever going to get to the ball, so I want to show my proper colors and my sparkle. Very nice. Well, these are my proper colors, and this is my sparkle.
like Cinderella, all right, and a clam bake. Oh, you look gorgeous, Tilly, really. Oh, on the sow's ear, masquerading as a silk purse. Oh. And everyone here knows it. Relax, Tilly, enjoy yourself. You look great. You look different. Oh. oh. There's Lady Whitehurst. You enjoy yourself. I'm going to find a bush I can crawl under. Uh, uh, Tilly. Tilly, come on. Simon McKay, what a privilege to meet you. Lady Whitehurst, pleased to meet you. Uh, this is my friend, Tilly Russell. Your ladyship. Oh, Miss Russell, are you going to the opera straight from here this evening? No, I just got my clothes screwed up. I thought that this little soiree was going to be formal. Of course. And this is my friend, Alex Jagger. Enchanté. Oh, you speak French, Mr. Jagger. Perhaps you should inform Miss Russell that uh, soirees are held in the evening. Uh, do stay late. There's a wonderful buffet. I do want to talk to you again, Mr. McKay. Of course. I'm sorry, boys. I made a mug of myself and shamed you. Tilly, nonsense. She was really rude. I think you showed remarkable restraint. Restraint my eye had. That lady has class, something I could use a bushel of. You've got more class in your little finger than she's got in her whole body. Oh, Simon, I'm a relic. I'm out of step. I'm out of time. Why don't you guys just pretend you don't know me? Tilly, just relax, enjoy yourself, be yourself. Come on, let's mingle. Come on. Get in, get the bank, and get out. And make sure he's careful not to trigger McKay's alarm system. It's state of the art. This is the target. Understand? And make sure he doesn't steal anything this time. Just in and out with the bank. Get the target. The target. <laughs> That Jack Nasty took off out of my galley like a blowfish with a hole in his tail. <laughs> I picked up a cleaver. After all, we got to keep the vermin out of our pots, don't we, honey? <laughs> so I chased him down the quarter deck, through the forecastle, and up the galley mast. <laughs> That's the way, the way it happened. <laughs> so much for being myself. <laughs> help you? Oh, um, I was looking for a friend. Mm -hmm. It's a nice clock, isn't it? Yes. Well, she's not here. Excuse me. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. No, I didn't want to saddle you guys with... With me, I thought I'd just crawl into Michelle with the rest of the snails. Oh, Tilly. Come on, let's go home, huh? I don't want 
which is leave on my account. There's beautiful women springing up out of that lawn like weeds. What do I want with weeds when I have the most beautiful flower in the garden right here? Hogwash. Oh, shoot. <laughs> what do we say to Lady Whitehurst? Nothing. <laughs> Come on, we'll sneak out. I know the way. Good. <laughs> supposed to come back yet. What's taking the chimp so long? What happened? Where is he? Well, thanks to me, you two missed Lady Whitehurst Buffet. Oh, it doesn't matter, Tilly. Yes, it does. And I'm going to cook you up a feast that is going to make up for it, and I promise you that. What's that? You two wait here. Chasing the more he's gonna run. We've just gotta stay calm. Now watch. Easy boy. Easy boy. Good boy. No one's gonna hurt you. Steady now. Do you wanna be my friend? But you be careful, Simon. He looks hungry. See nothing to worry about. Uh-huh. Well, you just keep him away from me. I've been enough of monkey's uncle for one day. Tilly, this is not a monkey. Monkeys have tails. This is a member of the ape family. He's a chimpanzee. And a thief. Nervous? Learn not to take things that are not yours. Now, give it to me. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no. What? You've determined to keep him here. He just needs looking after some rehabilitation. Good, I'm gonna have a fuzzy-faced delinquent. He just needs a little bit of love and care. Ah, uh, stop, no. Call him Oliver, if you will. Don't call him to dinner, not in my kitchen. Silly, just think of this afternoon when you felt out of place, doubting who you were. Good, I haven't had a bad enough day. Now I'm being compared to an ape. If it weren't for that fall, this injury, I would have done it myself. Then I wouldn't have had to depend on incompetence. What happened? I don't know. The chimp has never failed before. Before I hurt my leg, I could steal a diamond from a penthouse safe, never be seen or heard. 37 unsolved burglaries, millions of dollars. 
And now, <laughs> resorting to chimpanzees. We could make a direct assault. No. Why didn't the chimp respond to the whistle? Something must have distracted him or he got trapped. We could go back tonight and try again. He's trained to come to it. Yes, but when he comes out, will he bring the bank? I think so. Oh. That coin is worth a quarter of a million dollars to me. I don't want speculation. I want guarantees. Yes. He will bring the bank. He'd better. Wilkie, you better go with him. Make sure nothing goes wrong this time. This is the first time that I have ever been a fry cook to a chimpanzee. Silly, I said you can give him his bananas raw. Mm-hmm. He's in my kitchen, he eats what I cook. And if he's your guest, you eat what he eats. That's fine by me. I love fried bananas. <laughs> Could you get your friend to eat with a knife and a fork? Yeah. Aren't you trying to treat him the way Lady Whitehurst treated you? Oh, I am not. You sure? Ah, oh, you're right. I guess it got to me more than I know. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize to me. I'm sorry, Oliver. That's better. Anyway, you haven't even given him a knife and fork. I may be losing my eyesight, and I know the figure is gone, but I'm not losing my mind. I put a knife and a fork and a spoon right there. Huh. Oh, it's not under the table. Uh-uh. Oh. Oliver. Look, he cleaned his plate. Oliver, just where do you think you're going? I'm surprised at you running off like this. Frisk him. What? You said look in his eyes, I've looked in his eyes, and I see guilt, and I say frisk him. But Tilly. All right, Oliver, over here. Come on. Put your hands out. Again. What am I going to do with you? Mm -hmm. See, bite in the hand that feeds him. Come on, up here. Now keep him off the furniture, Simon. He's dirty. Oliver, hmm? Tilly is going to give you a bath. <laughs> it's not that bad. Come on. I am not. Put that animal in our bathtub? This is Oliver. I know who it is. You can fluff him up with my hair dry, then put one of my nightshirts on. I tell you, I have never been so humiliated before. Man and beast in one day in my life. And things are going to change around here. I will. to be a better investment all the time. fairy stories, this one has a happy ending too. The girl married the prince and became a princess. And they lived happily ever after. So you see, Oliver, goodness does prevail in the end. Now, don't poo-poo it. You'll see I'm right. Now, you've got to get a good night's sleep, OK? You've got a hard day's work ahead tomorrow. 
you know what that means? Oliver? Let me look. Come on. Oliver, what are we going to do with you? When did you get all this? Hmm? I don't know. It's going to be hard work. You like this, don't you? I know it's hard to sleep in a strange house. Will you sleep with this for tonight? Then tomorrow, it's work. I know you can change. I know you've got it in you. That's right. Good night. Good night, Simon. Tilly, you can't go in there. It's my bedroom. Yeah, but not tonight. I put Oliver to sleep. You put that animal Shh. in? Shh, he's sleeping. All right, let's go. for Alex's bed. Right. Alex isn't home yet, so we'll just tell him we played musical beds and he lost. <laughs> well, make sure you're quiet. Mm. Simon! The door. Oliver, where are you? to them, Oliver. Move it down. Collins. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Come on. Don't listen Come to on. them. Oliver, I stay. I train. What's going on? Come here. Come on. Come on. I get him. Oliver. Come. Come. Go Come. get him. Go on and get him. Go on. Go and get him. Oliver, don't trust Come. them. They're Come. bad men. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver, see what I mean? They're going to hurt you. Leave him alone! Leave him alone! Simon! Come on, let's go! They've got Oliver, they've taken him away. Oh, hit it! They've taken Oliver. Oh, no. He didn't want to go, I could see. I know, Simon, I know. They forced him. Drink your hot chocolate. It's too hot. Well, where have you been? Checking out our furry friend. What are you two doing up now? They came back. They took Oliver. Who did? Fagin, whatever his name is. He's trainer. Whoever told him to steal. And they shot at Simon. There's more here than burglary. You mark my words. Did you come up with anything? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I did. There were no street maintenance workers assigned to this neighborhood today. And I got a list of all the chimpanzees that were stolen from circuses and university research projects. Lyndon's going to follow up on that. And he's also going to do a rundown on Lady Whitehurst for me. Lady Whitehurst? What's she got to do with this? Tilly, that invitation she sent us came out of the blue. And it got us away from the house at the same time that the chimpanzee was breaking in here. Oh, I don't believe we've got anything she'd need to steal. Well, nevertheless, nobody seems to know much about her before she married Lord Whitehurst six years ago. And he dropped dead shortly after that. All right, so she's mysterious. That's the way nobility is. I wouldn't look at her. You know she ain't no criminal. 
Tilly, there's some pretty fancy crooks around these days. Speaking of crooks, did uh, Oliver manage to get away with anything? My toy bank. <laughs> he was attached to it. It was a security blanket, that's all. They took him with him. He was forced to go. He didn't want to go. You want some hot chocolate? Yeah, I'd love some. Thanks. <laughs> It's empty. That's the way the chimp brought it out. If I don't deliver that coin in two days, everything could unravel. McKay must have emptied the bank. But he probably doesn't know what's inside the coin. McKay has something valuable of mine. Now, we must get something valuable of his for leverage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see, avocado dip. Jalapeno peppers. Let's see. I'll take it. No, I don't want it. I don't want to make it. There we go. <laughs> What? Wait, wait, just a minute. Hold on. Give me that slowly. Where's Tilly? She's in the market. Why? Shh. Hit the recorder. The recorder. Go on. All right, who is this? That doesn't matter. I've got Tilly. If you want her back alive, do exactly as I say. How do I know you've really got her? If you don't do as I say, I'll ship her back in a box. Uh, all, all right. What do you want? The coin that was in the bank. Bring it to the bus stop at Lincoln and Montana in one hour. Come alone. Oh, no. Hey, what are you doing? That half a dollar I found in the bank. I didn't know where it came from. I just put it in here till his grocery money. I hope she hasn't got it with her. You mean the bank wasn't empty when you bought it? Except for that quarter, no. Look at this. No ridges. And it feels lighter, too. Let's take a closer look at this. It's a micro dot. That man in the street, the one that got run over, he was trying to tell me something. He must have slipped the coin into the bank. Looks like some kind of plant. Top secret, I suspect. Tilly was right. And monkey business is about something a great deal bigger. Mm. But our priority is to get Tilly back. Can you duplicate this? No, oh, it's simple microphotography. But we'll need a tracking device in here. Do you have one that small? I think I could work something out. You have less than an hour. As I say, I'll ship her back in a box. The coin that was in the bank. Bring it to the bus stop at Lincoln and Montana in one hour. Come Alex, along. the transmitter's in the fake microdot, and the coin can serve as an antenna. We can track it with this. Great. Wish me luck. I thought I was coming along to help. Look, I'm sorry, Simon. On top of all of this, I just can't worry about your safety. in the bank. Bring it to the bus stop at Lincoln and Montana in one hour. Come alone. Alex!
river. Step down. Step down. Go on. Step down. Step down. I'm stepping down. I don't know where take I'm stepping down to. I don't like it okay. down here. It's cold. And I don't know who you are. And if I was free, I'd Just pop you guys easy. right in the snoot. Take your hands off of me. It's cold. All right. Oh, Oliver. You tell him, honey. I want to tell you something. This is the worst two days of my entire life. It's good to see you, too. Thank you, man. What are we doing here? Huh? You wait till Simon comes. Half dollar, mister? Save a friend's life. Where's the friend? She's not feeling well. She may take a turn for the worse. We got the coin. Good. Well, get it here as soon as possible. There are a lot of details still to cover. I'll be there right after I pick up Barnes. OK.
It has to be this way. Meet me personally at the airport VIP lounge. I'm closing down the house to spend the winter in Saint-Tropez. Don't worry. You have diplomatic immunity. And nobody knows that I have the microdot. <laughs> Party early. This time, you shan't be leaving at all. <laughs> Get him! Simon, what's happening? What's going on here? So we're going to have plenty of time to talk about it. <laughs> Go, Oliver. That's it. Run. <laughs> She should be doing life. Ah, I'm not the one behind bars, am I? You are from where I'm sitting. What's going on here? Kidnapping, robbery, espionage, to name but a few. Oh, I'm glad you appreciate my artistry. <laughs> you know I admired you from afar. Now up close I see the rot in your timbers. You are an ignorant, vulgar woman. So shut your mouth. Careful, honey. Your true colors are seeping through. They certainly are. When I get that coin in my possession, the only color seeping through you is going to be red. Look around for him. You got it. It's got to be here somewhere in the field. Well, up there, yeah. Oliver! <laughs> I <laughs> can love boy, that. Oliver. And I've loved that chimp since the first time I saw him. <laughs> Open the bag, Oliver. Open the bag. There's a balloon. Get me the red balloon. <laughs> it's not just any balloon. This is a power balloon. Oh. That's it. Good Give boy. it to me. Good boy. Good, Good boy. boy. Thank you. Oh. Now, hold this between the bars, Tilly. Oh, really? oh, like hold this? Hold it tight. Like this? Uh-huh. Am I doing it right? That's right, Lyndon. Lady Whitehurst. We'll need a few units right away. Come on.
I'm on being crushed. Me too, Tilly. Just a few seconds more. For what? You'll see. That's it now. Get the white can. Hurry. All right, here it is. Now, take the black knob and twist it. All right. All right. All right, it won't go any further. That's it. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, we've been squoze into tight spots before, but this takes the cake. It's worked. Oh, for heaven's sake. Get out of here. Oh, 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 oh. Coin quickly. Afraid the party's over. It's only carbonated cider. There's no alcohol in it. I know, but the bubble set him off. Hey, what's the <laughs> celebration? Oliver here has been accepted by the children's school for the deaf. Oh, great. Uh, yep. Yeah. He's going to go tomorrow in a test program. I knew you were destined for great things, my boy. Yeah, and stealing isn't one of them. Well, speaking of which, you guys will never guess what came out of Lady Whitehurst's interrogation. What? Well, it seems that before she hurt her leg, she was a cat burglar. In fact, she was the most notorious jewel thief in all of Europe. <laughs> well, she sure had me buffalo. Just goes to show you, you gotta look more deeply into people. So let's, let's drink, drink to our champion. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, well, boy. Well done, Oliver. Next Tuesday's action begins with a special presentation of Simon and Simon at 8, 7 Central and Mountain. Now stay tuned for a look at learning like you've never seen before. Sean Penn and Phoebe Kate star in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Next.